Byron reporting live from the steps of the Canadian Consulate. As you know, uh, as state prosecutor, I've been concerned for some years about the level of corruption in our city and particularly within our police force. So keep your lenses clean and watch this. Ah, good morning. I have a signed order here for the extradition of Raymond Vecchio. Yes, yeah, certainly. Won't you please come in? Excuse me, sir. What? You're fine. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but firearms are not permitted on the premises. What the hell is he talking about? We have very strict gun laws here in Canada. Now, I don't make the rules, I simply enforce them. But I took an oath very similar to the one you gentlemen took, I should imagine. Uh, without the references to the Queen, of course. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, that's how we do it. We, Japan. we don't say anything. Ooh, sir. A two-tone Beretta, model 92, 9 millimeter, 11 rounds in the magazine, sporting a muzzle velocity of 2,000 feet per second. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Thank you kindly. I'm sorry, ma'am. You can't go in That's there. That's my building. Oh, ma'am. And none of these cars are properly parked. Ma'am? Ma'am? Andres Volpe was a man who made a lot of enemies. One of those enemies killed him. The question is, which one? I brought you all together here to help answer that question. Was it Eddie Herndorf, a ruthless competitor, a man whose role he was trying to usurp? I don't have to listen to this. Perhaps it was Mr. Fillion. Mr. Fillion claims that he was receiving information from Mr. Volpe. Perhaps that information was costing too much. You're a smart guy, Monty. Wasn't paying to get too smart. Ah, well, maybe that was Mr. Volpe's problem. Maybe he was too smart. He certainly had information. Where was he getting it from? Maybe it was from his contact in the Justice Department. Someone who was offering him the protection of his office in exchange for information relating to criminal activity. <laughs> Are you suggesting I was leaking to Volpe? I don't recall mentioning your name, Mr. Cahill. I don't see anyone else in here fitting that description. Maybe it was a cop. A man who had made a deal with the devil, but had decided that Mr. Volpe was a liability and not an asset. Fortunately, we don't need to speculate anymore. The killer was not alone in that alley. There was a witness to the murder, a witness too afraid to come forward, but who has placed a sworn affidavit in this envelope, which was delivered to me. That is evidence in an ongoing criminal investigation. Give it to me right now, or I'll have you arrested for obstruction of justice. Well, certainly. Let me open it first. This is evidence. I it have is, it. in point of fact, a blank piece of paper, but one that has proved Excuse quite me. revealing. Miss, get your Don't hands off of me. What are you going to do? There are millions of people watching. It didn't hurt OJ. Try to follow me? I'll kill him. Didn't I meet you at the Chilean consulate party? Okay, help! I'm gonna count to three. One. Wait a minute, I've got the gun here. Two. What have you got? Me. First off, sir, may I just say that your time at the spa seems to have done wonders for your muscle tone and reflexes. The sunburn, on the other hand, if I could recommend... Now, gentlemen, if we get this in an orderly... Or... No, 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 no. That's the ticket has to match. We've got... No, sir, that is... Yeah, that's the... Okay, do you have a... Where's my hand? The ticket has to match. There it is, over there. Fraser, I'll expect your report to be on my desk by 0900 hours. And if your explanation isn't satisfactory, you can expect to be transferred to Baffin Island. Understood, sir. Detective? Call me Ray.
excuse me, um, you are Joe, and you would be dead. And my father is fishing. I see. Well, could you just uh, well tell him I stopped by? Oh, and uh, could you tell him it uh, it worked? Yes. Thank you kindly. Directions on this map, but you're only going. 